hello lovelies thank you so much for coming back and welcome to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial i'll be learning how to make a multi-pleated v-shaped lined to band cap which has this double layer twisted design attached on it please if you are just viewing for the first time you are welcome before leaving kindly do well to subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have already done so thank you so much for the support now we'll be moving into the materials needed for this tutorial they include shiny poly fabric of which one yard is enough sequence fabric of which half yard is more than enough your fiber your scissors your matching color of thread and needle as well as your measuring tape for this design which you are working on I'm making use of both the sequence fabric and the shiny poly fabric the tuban base is the multiplated v-shaped band with a line base of which i'll be using the shiny poly fabric for it and then coming over to the design it is a twisted design and i made use of the shiny poly fabric and then the sequence fabric half yard of the sequence fabric is more than enough you'll be having excess fabric at the end then for the shiny poly fabric one yard will be enough for body to band base and the, the design in addition to all this the twisted design is going to be padded so as to give it that full and unique outlook so for the tutorial on the tuban cap I'll be illustrating using a different video for it. Why for the design? I will just go ahead to state out the measurements and then we'll get right into the tutorial. Because before now, I've already worked on my tuban cap. Firstly, starting with the tutorial for the tuban cap. It is a V-shaped multiplied tuban cap which has the base and because of the nature of my fabric the poly fabric shiny poly fabric the shiny poly fabric is somewhat light so i like lining the base of my fabric this is optional you can decide not to line yours so multiplied v-shaped band with the lined base using my shiny poly fabric to band cap which is the base sorry which is the band the multiplied v-shaped band will be needing two pieces of fabric the measurement i'm using is 14 inches for the length which is the head circumference and then 12 inches for the width from here to here is the length head circumference that goes around the head 14 inches and you cut it across the more stretchy part of the fabric while from here to here is the width which is 12 inches and it is cut across the part of the fabric that does not stretch 14 by 12 inches you cut it out twice for your v-shaped band now for the base like i said i'm lining mine so we also need two pieces of fabric and i have both here now i'm using 23 inches for the length which is the head circumference and 14 inches for the width so the head circumference the length that goes around the head is 23 inches from this end down to this end and the width from here to here is 13 inches now that is it for the tuban band base i'm going to be illustrating with one piece of fabric sorry i mean the tuban band which is a v-shaped band i don't know why i keep mixing it but then i'll be illustrating with one piece of fabric and whatever i'm doing for this piece of fabric should also be done for the second piece of fabric now this is the first piece of fabric and then we are going to be pleating it. It's just the normal way we are making our pleated base. We will make our autogilly base. I'll start by folding in my fabric. Now you can decide to fold it in twice so that you cover this rough edge here. So I'll fold it in twice. And then I'll sew from one end to the other. After doing that, I'll go ahead to pleat my fabric again. And then sew from one end to the other. Then I'll make another tooth again, depending on the allowance that is left. And then sew from one end to the other. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's what I'm doing, whatever I'm doing on this piece of fabric, 
which is one part of the band i also have to repeat for the second part of the band because both pieces of fabric will give me the v-shaped band so i'm going to sew and after sewing i'll get back for us to continue so i've made my pleated um, band and this is it so i'm going to place one on each other this way and then get my pins to help me hold it in place so i'm going to keep this aside then i'm getting the fabric for the base which is what i have here i'm going to fold each fabric into two and then get the midpoint then make a notch at the midpoint with my scissors Now that that has been done, I'm getting the first piece of fabric for the base, place it on my working surface with the fine side facing me, and I have it this way. I'm going to get my band. This is how my band is. Now I'm going to place the fine side of my band on the fine side of my fabric. So I'm placing it down this way. And then I'll get the last piece of fabric for the base. And then I'm going to place it on my fabric fine side facing fine side so the fine side of this last piece of fabric is facing the fine side of this first piece of fabric now while placing your fabric ensure that the middle of the fabric which you notched aligns with the middle of your band so this is it and then i'm going to place this on my sewing machine and i'm going to be sewing so i'll start stitching from the band down to this end and then i'll stitch round so i'm going to stitch round the four edges of my fabric but along one edge, I have to leave a little bit of allowance, which I will use to turn my fabric inside out. So this is my work. I'm done sewing it and I have my allowance here. I'll go ahead to turn my fabric and as soon as I'm done, I'll get back for us to continue. After turning my fabric inside out, this is it. This is the wrong side. And then I have the fine side here. To continue, I'm going to fold my fabric into two equal halves with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside then i'm going to place this on my sewing machine and i'm stitching starting from the band i'll stitch it down to this end and extend the sewing stitch to this end so as to close it up and form the cap so i'm going to go back to sew that and after that i'll get back so i'm done sewing next what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to make a running stitch in order to form the gathers at the end of the cap so I have my cap here and my running stitch is going to start immediately after the band and it will end here. So I'll just put my needle and thread in and keep passing it in and out until I get to the end. So straight. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'll keep this aside while we proceed to work on the design. Right here, I have my shiny poly fabric. The measurement is the full length of the fabric, 60 inches by 5 inches. Fold into two with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside. And sew down from one end of your fabric to the other end. Now, the same thing is applicable to the um, sequence fabric. The measurement is also the full length of the fabric, which will be about 60 inches by 5 inches for the width. Fold into two with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside and sew down from one end of the fabric to the other end. Now, after sewing down your fabric, you go ahead to turn your fabric inside out and then we'll get back to continue. At this point, I'm done sewing my fabric, both pieces of fabric, and I've turned it inside out. That is my shiny poly fabric and then I have my sequence fabric here also so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be padding this design so as to be able to create the twisted design afterwards now for the padding design i'll be needing my fiber okay i'll be making use of my fiber and the measurement is the full length of the fabric 60 inches by 6 inches 60 inches by 6 inches in place of this fiber you can use your wording or your foam now I'll go ahead to insert it in both my shiny poly fabric and my sequence fabric and after that I will get back. Right here I have both pieces of fabric 
with my fiber inserted inside so this is it now at that point you can see that i did not fill it up to the very end of the fabric there's a little bit of allowance at the edge of both pieces of fabric yes now at this other edge i have folded in that ss fabric and i have sewn it down to secure that edge that is why the ss fabric was left i will go back to repeat the same thing for the other end i will sew down that both edges now this is the first edge and this is the second edge it has all been sewn down together so what i want to do now is to create the design we'll first start by placing both fabric together and we'll get a needle and thread to stitch it down at that edge the fiber fabric is easy to manipulate because of the soft texture same with the sequence and shiny poly fabric so you sew down that edge a couple of times a couple of times till you are sure that you have secured them together it will be firm okay now after doing that we're going to create the, the, the twisted design for this you'll be needing an assistant to help you hold down your fabric or you get a very heavy object and place at the edge of the fabric while you create your twist now this is me setting my fabric in place and then i'll go ahead to start creating that twisted design so to get it just watch the video carefully and then it's just the same technique or the same way you would want to twist any other fabric or any other thing you want to twist so this is how i'll keep twisting my fabric it's a very long piece of fabric it requires patience i'll twist this from one end of the fabric to the other end now on getting to the very end the final end i'll have to get my needle and thread and tack down that edge together so as to secure the twisted design in place if not the twisted design will loosen so the same way i tacked down the edge the first edge where i started the twist from is the same way i'm going to get my needle and thread this way now and then tack down that edge together you can see that the twisted design is complete so i'll go off camera to finish my tacking this is one edge already tacked down and this is the other edge so both edges have been sewn down and the twisted design is secure now this is my toban cap and we're going to be adding the design please watch the way i started adding the design okay now the design is coming a bit after that v shape that middle part of the cap probably about two inches okay and then as soon as you secure down that edge you carry the ss fabric and place on top of the first twist now start by securing the edge to the end of your tuban cap as you can see i'm starting from the end of the tuban cap down to the needle so i'm using my needle and thread to tack it down at that point okay now i will continue passing my needle and thread from the cap to the twist from the cap to the twist till i've tacked it down to that point which is a little bit after the middle of the tuban cap Okay, I'm finally done with the first part. You can see that the twisted design is a little bit across the middle part. And you see the way I'm flipping it over the SS fabric on top of the first um, twist stone to the cap. I'll go back to tack it down, okay? Tacking it down is just the same way we did earlier. You pass your needle and thread from the upper part of the twist down to the lower twist. And then you can take it down into the tuban cap, but I didn't. I just joined both twists together, passed it from the base of the upper twist and the top of the lower twist. So see me doing that. I will tag this down to the end and I will get back. I've gotten to the edge. I've secured it and I've sewn down that edge. So it just requires you to be patient and make use of your instincts and sew neatly, which is very important. And after placing this on my dummy head, this is the outlook like this is wow, this is really beautiful, and I'm sure you also agree with me. So this is how it looks like 
and that brings us to the end of this tutorial if you have any questions please let us know by sending us a message and don't forget to follow us on our different social media platforms on facebook and on instagram as journey content until our next tutorial see you soon bye bye